going in hot. A platoon of Marines down below trades fire with the Taliban. We got a perimeter in the field. Private Josh Masterson has been hit the hardest by at least four simultaneous bomb blasts. His colleagues need to get back into the fight. And as they leave behind the fields of fire, the priority becomes saving Private Masterson. The young Marine's only been out of high school one year, and far away from his home in Idaho, his life hangs in the balance. The medics touch down at a nearby field hospital. Outside, the crew takes stock, but their work is not over. We arrived to the LZ. Uh, the Marines there were in a firefight. They had Cobras on station, returning fire and providing uh, air support. We went back out there to pick up a uh, pick up another patient. He was just a routine. Um, I'm not sure if he was in the IED blast. Inside this tent, Navy surgeons get started on Masterson's wounds. They've grown expert from previous deployments in Iraq, and they've been helped along by the battlefield triage done by Marines on the ground. Tourniquets were limb saving and ultimately maybe life saving. Um, his airway was okay, but we don't know what's going to happen with the neck, and then we have to save the limb. Miles away, the hostilities continue. Just minutes since we arrived here with two wounded Marines, yet another patient has come in from the field as the Marines in southern Helmand continue to do battle with the Taliban. Grappling with injuries that no body armor can stop. They still cannot hear. And though their concussions are mild, doctors order further tests. We're moving to this gurney here and start an eval, okay? Nearly one-fifth of soldiers and Marines returning from Afghanistan suffer from some form of traumatic brain injury. Hours pass since Private Masterson went into surgery. He's got uh, multiple, fortunately, rather superficial injuries to his face and neck, and a little bit more significant injury to his left upper extremity, so we're in there operating on both sides right now. Outside, the pilot reflects on a busy day. We started getting a second patient on board, and uh, the Marines started opening up with their, with their machine guns. Uh, supposedly, we were taking fire in the LZ, and uh, the Marines are starting to shoot back. It's, it's an adrenaline rush. It'll keep you up at night sometimes if you get a late-night mission, and, and it's hard to come down off of it. Once stabilized, a British helicopter comes to take Masterson away. This is only the beginning of a journey that will ultimately take him from Helmand to a hospital back in Germany. Within days, the young Marine will return to the United States as the Afghan war of attrition continues. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera, Southern Helmand, Afghanistan.